Welcome to you and all of your parts. Hi, I'm Laura Lively. One of my New Year's resolutions this year for my business and for my clients was to work on some scripting to help people be more compassionate with their parts. You may have heard me talk about a friend who said, I can't be all lovey-dovey with my parts like you are, Laura. And as we talked about it, she said it was because she never had loving acceptance modeled to her as a child. And it made me really consider how I could help people who didn't have that experience and really just don't know where to begin. So I started out jotting down my own words that I use with my parts, but I also went on a kind of a quest to find other people's thoughts on how to develop this loving internal dialogue. And I want to share with you one of the books I found. Um, this book called The Loving Parent Guidebook, um, it's like 12 step and IFS had a love child. It's like they had a baby. I I really like it. It is put out by the Adult Children of Alcoholics Dysfunctional Families group. Um, it's called the Loving Parent Guidebook. And it, it's an amazing book. Um, and AC, and I'll, so I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about how I see the ACA process through the lens of IFS, just so you can kind of equate that. Um, if I was going to, they consider that you have four parts with ACA. And some of you guys may be ACA um, knowledgeable. That's the word I was looking for. Knowledgeable. Yay. Great. Um, but so they say that there's four parts. And if I'm going to speak about it from the IFS, from the IFS perspective, um, they talk about the critical parent. The critical parents, what to me would be the equivalent to my inner critics, if I was talking about it from an IFS perspective, the inner child that they talk about in ACA is equivalent to the younger parts of us that may or may not be exiled, but um, depending on whether or not they're burdened. So they're the young children in us. And of course, not all of our ex not all of our young children are burdened, right? Like some of them, um, you know, they like to play with bubbles or they enjoy playing in the dirt or they employ, you know, you, you get some of that. Hopefully you've got some access to some childlike wonder in your life. And so not all of our inner children are burdened, but some are. Um, so, and then we also have in the ACA model, they call it the inner teenager. And that's similar to kind of our rebellious parts. Like you can't tell me what to do or, oh yeah, are you sure? Or, you know, risk takers, like who wants to race the train against that's coming down the track? Let me see if I can get over. Um, surely I'm not the only one that ever did that, but, anyway, or what could it hurt? Right? Like, so they talk about the critical parent, the inner child, the inner teenager, and then they talk about developing the loving parent, which is what this book is about. And it's interesting. The loving parent is similar to what I would, how I would probably view self, um, which is kind of in its kind of parental role. And like it cares for all of its parts and the loving parent cares for all of its parts in the ACA world. Anyway, this is a great book if you need help coming up with loving phrases to use with your parts. Um, it was so interesting as I was reading through it. I I found lots of fabulous phrases and I also uh, saw like, like for example, page 122, there's all or nothing thinking. And I know for me that if I am in all or nothing thinking, I know that I'm blended with a part. I'm more blended than I want to be with a part. Um, they also talk about judgmental thinking, which again, if I am being judgmental to myself or others, I know that I am more blended with a part than I might want to be. So anyway, it was a great book and um, thought I would share it with you in case it would be helpful in your own journey. So stay tuned. I will probably be sharing some of these phrases that I've picked up out of this book while doing my research, because I believe that learning to love all of us, all of our parts is key to our healing. So sending everybody a ton of love. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to check out the description for some free resources. And until next time, love to you and all of your parts.